Hello and welcome. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create worlds using a plugin called Dimension Door. I'm the plugin author and I've maintained and developed Dimension Door now for just under a year. It will be its year's anniversary in the next month. And it's a very stable plugin, very reliable and one that I use every day on my own server. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to uh, list worlds, create worlds, uh, query information from worlds such as if PVP is on or off, unload worlds, load worlds and remove worlds. So all the basic commands that you need to get started. So I'm just going to log into my uh, test server. There we go. Right, so one thing um, if you're new to uh, world managers uh, from Bucket is that um, one thing that you can have uh, with uh, something like Dimension Door is you can have different settings per world. Now in standard Minecraft, standard Bucket, you have one uh, properties file, you set whether you're going to have PvP on, what's the difficulty going to be, uh, whether you're going to spawn animals, and that applies across all your worlds. If you use a plugin like Dimension Door, you can actually have it so you can have different worlds having different settings. So for example, an easy world, a normal world, a hard world, um, or a world where you can actually have creative mode and one world for survival. And I'm going to show you how to do some of that today. So first, all, oh, first off, uh, to get all the commands for Dimension Door, you type slash dd. And that gives you a list of all the commands that are available. So we've got clear, create, info, list, load, modify, remove, teleport, and then load. And if you want to find any more information about any of these commands, dd help, and you type the name, and it'll give you a brief description of what it does. Uh, full documentation for this plugin is available on GitHub, um, on the wiki, and uh, it's very well uh, explained if you get stuck. So to start with, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at the worlds that I've already got loaded. And I do that by typing DD list. And you can see here I'm currently managing three worlds. Normal never, uh, normal the end, and normal. So the basic worlds that you get with Bucket. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another world to this mix. I'm going to add a world which will eventually become my creative world. Now I do this by simply typing slash DD create. And what this will do is it'll ask me a series of questions about what I want my world to be like and it'll go away and make it for me. So, uh, well, I'm going to name it creative. Um, the environment type, you usually want to go for normal unless you want a nether or, the, or an end world. Uh, I want it normal again, I don't want a flat world. I'm going to have a random C because I'm feeling lucky. Um, yeah, I'll have generator structures, why not? And we're going to stay away from custom world generators for now. So now what it'll do is it'll go and create the world in the background. And while it's doing this, your players will experience um, some lag. Um, it's also worth mentioning that the more worlds you add to your server, the more resources uh, they require. Uh, there, is, there isn't a hard limit to it, it's just uh, whatever your server is capable of doing. I've found that in practice it tends to be around 7 to 8. So, my world's now ready. So now I can teleport to it by typing dd teleport, and then uh, the world I want to go to, creative. And this will teleport me to the spawn location of that world. And here we go. I've ended up in the tree. Lovely. And this is my new world. Completely separate from the other one. And I can add or change whatever I like in here. Uh, well obviously, eventually, I'm going to make a creative world so players can uh, split between the two. Now, so I'm here now, but I want to check the information on this world. I want to see if PvP is enabled. I want to see if... Um, uh, monsters are spawning. This phrase to do as well. DD info and the world you want to check. So in this case I'm going to check creative. And you can see that uh, you can see the seed. I can see it's normal environment and the difficulty is currently set to normal. That's This is a really helpful tool for when you just want to check that all your settings are correct. So now I've uh, checked my world. I'm happy with it. I'm going to go back uh, to my main world and I'm going to show you how to unload this. So let's go back to normal. So for example, let's say that you made a mistake. Uh, you, you created the world and it was absolute rubbish and you, want, you now want rid of it. There's two ways of getting rid. First of all, you can do DD unload. Now what this does is it will temporarily remove a world um, and take it out of memory 
and but you can load it back later on. So there you go, it's been unloaded. And if I type slash dd list, you'll see that its name is in red, so I know it's unloaded. Uh, if any players are in the world when it's unloaded, they will be automatically teleported to the normal world because um, you can't unload worlds with players in. So that's my world unloaded, and that's freed up some memory for some other stuff. But let's say I've changed my mind again. Uh, I'm feeling quite fickle today. I'm going to load it up again. And now you'll see my world's loaded. And if I check DD list, it confirms it. So now I can go back to my world. It's available for my players again. But let's say I did make a mistake. I, I don't want this world. What I do then is I type DD remove and then creative. And what this does is it does two things. One, it unloads the world. And two, it stop, it, Dimension Door forgets about it. So it's not ever going to try and load this world again. And you'll see it's gone. It does remind me that I need to remove the world directory. Dimension Door does not touch your world data. So for actually deleting something permanently, you do actually need to go onto your server and delete the folder. It's uh, as a safety precaution. So what we've covered today is we've covered uh, create, info, list, load, remove and unload and teleport. In the next video, what we're going to have a look at is uh, how to modify attributes on world, on worlds, and some of the more advanced features, which can help uh, give added features to your server and make Minecraft a lot more fun. You can download this plugin using the link in the description, or by uh, going to the bucket forums or dev bucket and downloading it from there. Thanks for watching.